Good day to you all. You are welcome again to another episode of Let's Talk Business with Jade Anibo. In today's episode, I will be discussing five slides with you all, and you can find those slides on my community section. So let us begin. The first slide is Success of Finance for SMEs, short term, a duration of one year. Right. So that's why the fact that businesses love to avoid illiquidity. It doesn't mean that we don't need cash to finance our business. But how do we get cash? The first way of getting cash there is through cooperatives. Look for one, be part of them, save with them for at least six months, and you get double of what you have saved at 1.5 interest rate. Some of you can even do 1% interest rate for you. Quite easy. Then we have trade credits. It's all about you buying your goods on credit, then paying later. Then we have accruals. What does that mean? It is a deferred payment of services offered. They've offered the services where you need to pay salaries, wages, rent, tax. Then you withhold those monies which are supposed to be paid for those services and you use them to finance your business. Then we have bank borrowing, which consists of bank overdraft and bank loan facility. Yeah, what does bank overdraft mean? It means that you withdraw more than what is in your account and then the bank charges you an interest rate for the money overdrawn. Then the bank loan facility is all about you walking up to your bank and requesting for a loan. But for that to happen, you need to do something. And what's that? The second slide tells us about some documents that would be requested of you in getting a bank loan facility. So please go through those needs or documents you need to get on the second slide. All right. Then the third slide, we have bill of exchange. What does that mean? Bill of exchange is just a settlement method between the buyer and the seller. For the trade bills there, the buyer acknowledges that, yes, I owe you, and signs across it and says, thank you, I owe you, and I sign for it. Then the bank bills is all about the bank accepting your credit, which is known as acceptance of credit. Then we have the medium term sources of finance, which is a duration of one to five years. First on that list is the higher purchase. This is a means whereby the owner of the assets grants the purchaser the right to use that asset, but he or she will be receiving some payments according to what they have agreed on. And the ownership of that asset is only given to the purchaser once those payments are fully completed. Right? Then we have sales and lease back. What does that mean? It means a finance institution can buy your assets. And when they buy your asset, the same finance institution can lease the asset back to you. So it's a win-win for you. Then we have venture capital. What does that mean? It's commonly known as business angel. For businesses who are still small or those who have collapsed, you need finance for your business and you do not have it. Business angel comes on board, be part of your business by giving you money to finance it and even being part of it. You no, know, by helping you or collaborating with you to run the business. Then we have the lease and its types. On the last slide, the fifth slide, we have lease and its type. What does that mean? Yeah, lease is a contractual agreement between the leaseor and the leasee. Yeah, the leaseor grants the leasee his or her assets to use over a period of time, an exclusive right to use the asset over a period of time for a certain amount of rent. Now, during that lease, we have the finance lease, whereby the lease is the lease, the leasee is responsible for the upkeep of the maintenance of that asset. Then we also have the operating lease, whereby the leaseor is responsible for the upkeep of that asset. So when you are leasing an asset on a contractual agreement, you have to define if you, the leasee, responsible for the upkeep during the duration of that lease, or the leaseor be the one responsible for the upkeep of that asset during the duration of that lease. We all know that when you're getting a, a, a lease done, the exclusive right is for you, the, the, the leasee, and you can use that asset on or uh, based on the duration given to you. All right, uh, that's what I have for you today. And you can also think of going for projects, um, projects venture, whereby you have a project to run, but you don't have money. Okay, so you can use that project as a collateral to get funding for your projects okay so i didn't add that in the slide but since i have time i just had to chip that in all right so thank you so much for being with me today on this episode of let's talk business with jada nibo i look forward to your comments i look forward to seeing you more on my show thank you very much do have a lovely day and i'll be back soon for another discuss have a wonderful day it's jada nibo bye